very excited on from vlog mode to tripod mode in seconds. And this is way more sturdy. I mean, this desk isn't sturdy. This is so much more sturdy than a Gorilla Pod. If I start waving and wiggling around my Gorilla Pod, no matter what's on it, chances are it's probably gonna fall. And the cleanup, the cleanup of that tripod back to vlog mode is so fast. And that's what I feel is important when we're making these videos. Sometimes you just wanna say something to the camera, you wanna put it down on the desk, you wanna deliver a line, and then you just wanna pick it up and you wanna go instantly without having to, you know, wonder how handy that was, without having to do this. So usually you get that Gorilla Pod to wherever it needs to go to hold your camera, hopefully. And then when you pick it up, you gotta do this. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's go head on to the, uh, the waterfall. Follow me. That's literally, there's, there's so many adjustments. So right off the bat, being able to just pick up and go. Speed, agility, being able to depend on it. Ugh, that is just so great. The other thing that's great is there's no plate. There, are, <laughs> there have been so many times where I've forgotten the plate at home, gotten to where I need to go vlog, and been like, well, guess Guess I'm just gonna shoot B-roll today because I don't have the arc plate unless I find a camera shop or same day Amazon somewhere to like Amazon delivery spot. Trust me, I've been there, I've thought about those things. So that's what I love about this. There's no plate at all. It's just this little knob right here. You can crank it down because there's nice grooves that are like built right into that. It unscrews and that's it. So check out the footprint of this thing. Look how thin and slim this is compared to this. So what's great about that is that this fits in your camera bag with your gear. It can go in the laptop slot, it can go in the side water bottle slots, and it takes up no extra room. This is just so slim and it just slides and it's, it's perfect. So it's held together with magnets. So when this opens, there's magnets on the feet here, here, and here. So at each phase when it closes, they magnetize together which keeps it into this nice little package, which I love. So I'm just really excited about this, as you can see, because when this is something that you use on a daily basis and it is a big part of your career and how you operate and do your job, as something comes along that makes it better and easier and faster to travel and just all of the above, that's a big deal. Like I'm more pumped on this than I am sometimes cameras and lenses and stuff like that. Now there are a few drawbacks. I will say using it for the past week, there are some things about it that have frustrated me. So not to completely <laughs> all over this thing, but there are times when you want to set up your tripod on completely uneven ground. You're able to, you know, let's say you're on a hill. You're able to have one point of contact on that decline. Let's let's be honest. Everyone that's used a Gorilla Pod, we've set it up in some pretty janky spots. We've all done it. And for that, it's incredible. So the flexibility of being able to pretty much set up your camera almost anywhere on any surface, unlevel or level, this thing is amazing for. But then again, there's the stability, like how solid is that shot? Was a big gust of wind gonna just blow it away? Maybe. The other thing I like about this is your, your fine adjustments with a ball head that's built into this thing. So all I gotta do, unscrew this, and then once I'm set up, I can angle the camera up, I can angle it down, angle it to the side, set up my time lapse, whatever, there's customization. When this thing is fully set up, because there's no ball head on it, it's just the legs, I have what I have. Like my, my view is my view, I can't adjust the camera camera up, down, left, right, nothing. I would have to, I would have to put a ball head on it. So I'd have to take it from the Gorilla Pod, for example. Then I have to screw that onto here, but the threads are different sizes. So you'd have to mind which tripod head you were actually gonna use. So then this fits instead. And then you have your adjustments. It's not a huge deal. I'm only addressing them because if I'm using this every single day and I'm depending on it for travel and for speed, it needs to be streamlined. So I do think that's one of the drawbacks is being able to adjust it, but I don't think by any means that's a drawback enough to not make me buy it. Already, this has been more useful and faster and more enjoyable to use, which has let me just get the job done better than the Gorilla Pod has been in like the last six months. So for that, I love it. And as like a version one too, amazing. I can only see this in the future expanding into more options crazier ideas, but as a first V1 switch pod, this thing, this is one of the top of my list as far as like things you need to vlog. Oh.
<laughs> so that was it for today's video. I know I blew the two minute marker, but I really wanted to give you guys a fair, good, clean look at the new Switch Pod and show you the differences between this and the Gorilla Pod in case this is something you guys want to back on Kickstarter. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a great product. I think it's going to be a staple in the vlogging community. And I know for sure that I'm going to be using it moving forward. And to Caleb and Pat, Thank you for sending me this. Good luck with your campaign, guys. Uh, you've come up with a really cool product. I'm really pumped that you made me one of my own, and I'm grateful for that, so thank you very much, and uh, best of luck in the future, boys. Good job. That probably felt like a sponsored video, but I promise you it wasn't. I'm just really, I'm really excited. I can be excited about gear. I'm very excited about this. This is gonna change the way a lot of us make videos, so. That's your Two Minute Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. <laughs> Smash it 2019 style. <laughs> Horrible form, Peter. Subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell. Hit the bell so you know when I upload these videos. It helps me, it helps the channel, and uh, I would appreciate that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See you later. Have a great day. Have the greatest of days. Have the best day you've ever had in your entire existence today.